Welcome back to Rad BMX Builds. On this episode, I got something a little special for you. A friend of a friend had a bicycle that was going to get rid of it and wanted to know if I would be interested. Once he told me what it was, it was an absolute yes. These bikes don't come up often, especially at a pretty good price. Now, I didn't get an amazing deal, but I got a good price. And when bikes like this pop up, to not take them if they're at a good price, is just something I'm not going to live well with that type of decision. So I went ahead and went out to Orange, California and met up with him. Uh, ironically, his name is Sean. And if you're watching this, thank you for that experience. It was good finally meeting a friend of a mutual friend that uh, we've both known for a really long time. This bike uh, is not an original owner, but I believe it's only been in the hands of two to maybe three people. It's in really decent condition. It does have a few parts that are not original to it. And my intent to, on this bike is to restore it. Now I don't typically like to do restorations. I like to do full custom builds, but this bike I think is worthy of a restoration build. So I'm gonna do just that. This bike when it popped up came in Chrome. I don't know how many were made in Chrome, but in my years of experience, they're a little bit more rare than a painted bike. So having a Chrome one, uh, just really appealed to me. So I wanted to run out there and get it. I know you're waiting and you're being patient and I appreciate that. So let's take a look at this bike. It is a 1987 GT Performer in Chrome, probably about 90 to 95% original. Needs work, needs love, but that's what I'm here for. Let's take a look. What's up? We are back and I wanted to give you an update. It's been a little bit since I showed you the 1987 Chrome GT Performer build. And there's a good reason for that. I sent off some parts to the amazing, awesome, professional Ernie's 80s bike shop. That guy did such an amazing job on some of these restoration pieces. Yes, I already have a powder coater, but I know Ernie's got a reputation for restoration when it comes to these old school BMX parts. This build behind me, I didn't want it to be like any other build. I wanna make this one just perfect. So I sent him off to Ernie. He did exactly what I needed him to do. Not only met my expectations, but completely blew them out of the water. So I couldn't be happier, huge shout out to you. So let's take a look at these parts that he finished for me and I got back. And then I'm gonna go over pretty much everything behind me, which is, everything I need to finish this build. So we're only moments away from building this bike and completing it. Let's take a look at the parts. 
Okay, so as you can see, the chrome is now restored, polished, and as shiny as I think it's gonna get, this is original chrome, but I did re-decal it. It even has the old school California registration stickers, which I kept on there. So let's go over some of the parts. I grabbed some black um, era correct pedals. They're not the pedals that came on the bike. Uh, Amy grips, black and chrome chain. Now these are restored parts. These are the original levers. And as you can see, absolutely flawless. All the original hardware has been polished out. Then we have the Gen 2 fork standers. These are a hot commodity. Everyone wants these and now they're perfectly restored. An old school GT seat post clamp. Now a lot of these parts had nicks, scrapes, you name it from, you know, 35 years of use or whatever it's been. And now they're perfect. They are factory perfect, if not even better. You can see the cheese grater GT stamped sprocket, chrome one piece cranks, aftermarket, um, platforms and pegs and then we have a restored odyssey 2000 front brake uh, i am going to have to install the decal which i do have and the die comp uh, rear brake and this is still need to be restored so i got new hardware for this uh, the original stem so this will get polished up a bit and i will get new stem bolts in here uh, so don't worry about that gyro my pad set and then we have, now these are repop because I mean, I don't have the original tires that would hold air. I do have original set of tires, but I'm gonna go with the repop ones because I'm gonna ride this bike. So these are the GTLP uh, repop tires. And Skyway just released these again, finally, after a long wait, a couple years to get the six spoke wheels. Shout out to Planet BMX for finally getting these back in. So we got some six spoke. This bike originally came with white OGKs. And the white OGKs on this bike with all the black components that it originally came with, honestly, I thought looked stupid. So I got rid of those. I sold them, bought the six spoke Skyways, which I think are gonna look a lot better. So let me know in the comments what you think about that. Uh, when this bike's together, I think you're gonna agree with me. The black is just a better balance. The white, which if you have 35 year old OGKs, the white's no longer really white. No matter how much you brighten it up, it's gonna be a little bit off, a little marshmallow or even yellowish, depending on how bad they're stained. The ones I had had a lot of black brake shoe marks on them. And you know, that's my peeve. If you're running black brake pads on white wheels, shame on you, get the right brake pads. So those wheels weren't gonna ever be at the quality that I wanted them to be for this build. So I bought black Skyway wheels. And as soon as I got them a week later, Planet released the six spoke. So I went and bought those. And now I have five spoke Skyway sitting over here, brand new, never mounted, never used. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do with those, but these six spoke, are pretty much exactly what I wanted for this build. So thank goodness that they came back out and we're gonna have them on this bike. But quick overall of what we got here, pretty much all the parts and components that I need to put this bike back together. Like I said, there are a few things that I'm gonna touch up. I'm gonna clean this out a little bit better. And then it's time for assembly. So this is the week. By the time you see this video, this bike's gonna be done. Today is Sunday. And I believe it's the 11th of June. So Tuesday, Huntington Beach Tuesday, I'm coming at you with my brand new build, 1987 Chrome GT Performer. Okay, it is Tuesday and you know what that means. Huntington Beach Tuesday, here I come. And I'm gonna be debuting the finished 1987 Chrome Restored GT Performer.
Okay, there you have it. That was Huntington Beach Tuesday. I got you some footage of Eddie and Martin riding around and some footage of the completed 87 GT Performer. I hope you like that bike and I hope you like this video. If you did, make sure you're hitting that thumbs up there down below the video. And by you liking it, that helps my videos out a lot and I greatly appreciate that. But more importantly, if you haven't subscribed, 84% of my viewers don't subscribe. So please, doesn't cost you anything, hit that subscribe, help this channel grow and help me make more videos. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want some Rad BMX Builds merch, there's a link below. And don't forget, if you need BMX parts, I have an Amazon store and that link is below also. Thanks again for watching this video. Thanks again for subscribing for those of you that are. And if you're not, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, stay rad. Oh, 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 oh,